So are you wondering if that smoking deal you got on that 5.3 was really a smoking deal? Or was it actually a 4.8 and they just unloaded it on you? There's really no way to externally tell whether or not it's a 4.8 or a 5.3. I mean, it says 4.8, 5.3 right here. It's not like the 6.0, which just says 6.0. So probably the easiest way to figure out if it's a 4.8 or a 5.3. So you're just going to take the camera on this endoscope down through the spark plug hole and look and see whether it's got dish pistons or not. If it's got flat top pistons, it's a 4.8. If it's got dish pistons, it's a 5.3. So there's a link in the description of this. I picked it up off Amazon. It's the Deeps Tech DS300 Professional Industrial Endoscope. Uh, we'll see how well it works. It's got its own 4.3 screen. It supposedly does 1080p. It's got a semi-rigid cable. And of course, it's got a battery. Waterproof probe and a Blue Art 20 Image Tech, whatever that is. Let's open it up, take a look. All right, well, packaged pretty nicely. And we've got some operation guidelines looks simple enough here is the unit itself very compact lightweight looks like we've got a charging cable a larger set of directions various lenses it looks like i guess we're gonna have to check out those directions all right looks like our tf card is already inserted uh, this did not come with an adapter to read this so hopefully you've got one so that you can read it on your computer because this USB port is only for charging. You can't do a data transfer off of this uh, particular model directly to your computer. So you've got to pop this card and use a reader. All right, let's hit the power button and see what happens. Uh, here we go. Hey, there I am. You can see the uh, end of the cable does have its own little light. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty bright. So what do all these buttons do? Of course, we've got a power button, camera button over here. Now, if you hold this down, it'll start recording video. If you just press it once, it will take a photo. If you're recording, it'll then, it'll then stop. This button here will rotate the video. And then we have our menu. Now the presets appear to be fine. With these two buttons, we can go back and forth through the menu system. Then we get to something we want to change. We can hit the OK. And are we sure we want to format the TF card? Sure, why not? And now it is formatting okay done messing around with this let's figure out if i got a 5.3 or a 4.8 this thing has a ton of extra cord on it so i just pulled off a little bit because we don't we're not gonna need much for this but you know you can also use these to inspect your pipes and stuff in your house and it's waterproof but i'm gonna use it for car stuff okay we are recording <laughs> boy that's ugly all right let's let's check these pistons out we're just gonna go right into this spark plug hole here okay no we're not because that piston's at the top need to find one that's down here we go and you look at that there's the top of the piston it's got plenty of carbon on it but you can see pretty clearly it is dished so this is a 5.3 as I Already knew. Now I'm just going to turn off the recording part. Okay, I'm just going to take a couple pictures real quick. Well, that was pretty easy. But at any rate, this little thing works great. If you want to get one of these for yourself, there's a link in the description. If you want to know more about this engine and what's going on with this 5.3 No Name Nationals build, then be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you down the road. You know, if you think about it, this is probably similar to what they do colonoscopies with these days. <music>